hi guys, it's George from Cyprus Insight. This evening we're at Caparis, the lovely revamped Caparis. Now we've done lots and lots of videos down here, haven't we guys? We've done videos on the roadworks, how they're getting on and how they've finished the place. And you can see it really is looking amazing down here in Caparis. We've got the brand new bike track and the brand new pavements, flower beds everywhere, brand new road surface. Everything's really posh down here. In fact, I came down here and did a little video for you guys a couple of weeks ago. And I noticed that all the restaurants are really posh down here now. It's become a very up and coming posh area. And this is yet another brand new posh restaurant, or should I say refurbished. I did come past here a few weeks ago and a few months ago. We slowly saw its progress and it's Caras Village Taverna, right on the corner. Really looks spectacular. It is well known for fish, guys. Well, I don't really fancy fish tonight, but uh, nevertheless, we'll go and have a look, see what they've got to offer. I probably won't be having the fish, but it doesn't matter, guys. We can see the menu. You don't have to have fish. You can have what you like. It is a village tavern, after all. And they've got this massive veranda area at the front. Look at this. Ain't it massive? Beautiful glass doors everywhere. Really is looking posh. Oh, they've got flower beds as well. New tables and chairs. They've even got a brand new slope. Oh, I do like the posh slope. Right, let's go in and uh, we'll check out the menu and see what they've got to offer. Oh, they've even got lemon trees. Oh, look, they've kept the little boat outside. They've just put it back on the brand new flower bed well that's a good idea nice little reminder of what was here so we've got our traditional Cypriot music playing and we're gonna have a look at the menu they're offering soups at around seven euros fifty appetizers tzatziki hummus four euros and four fifty feta cheese at four euros fifty so there's the seafood guys, lots of seafood, as I explained outside, it is a seafood restaurant and in fact they've got fresh seafood down there in the cold counter and I'll go and do a little video down there for you guys in a moment. So seafood appetizers, grilled octopus at 13 euros, salads, the village salad at 7 euros 50 or you can have the big village salad at 10 euros 50 so here we are this is the uh, raw bar sea bass mediterranean mullet 16 euros tuna tartar 16.50 more fish dishes fish for your delight there we are octopus at 9 euros 50 let's turn the page oh they're even doing sushi now look at this sushi Lots and lots of sushi to choose from. Salmon, look at that, 10 euros. Avocado. Sushi platter, 20 euros. Or a big one for 35. I bet that's a massive. Lovely fish dishes. And as I said before, I will go and point out the fresh fish. King prawns are 23 euros. So here's the fish by the kilo guys, red snapper 75 euros a kilo. And do we know what an average fish weighs? Not really sure there guys. There we are, Mediterranean lobster 100 euros a kilo. That's per kilo by the way guys. It doesn't mean your fish is gonna weigh a whole kilo. A kilo of fish is quite a lot, isn't it? I, sh I should think it's quite a lot, guys. Pasta dishes, around uh, 20 odd euros. Meat dishes, now I'm gonna have the mixed kebab, guys. I know it's nothing to do with fish. Mixed grill, ooh, mixed grill, look at that, 22 euros. 
and of course it all comes with your chips and what have you or you can have jacket potato Cypress specialities and you've been looking at the Masaka haven't you and that's 16 euros Tabas Stifada 17.50 and it all comes with your chips and jackets vegetarian dishes there so vegetarian Masaka that's also 16.50 and that's changed over there's the kids menu and kids meals around 9 euros you can have some lovely desserts baklava 7 euros 50 right so here we are cypress whites loads to choose from cypress reds french whites fresh reds french rolls around the world loads and loads to choose from guys and right at the front of the menu guys we've got the family history their father was a footballer and a fisherman and there's the father there oh wow look at that net so as promised guys i've come down here in the fresh fish there we are we've got live lobster um oysters they're, they're still alive guys there we are so fresh live lobster and shellfish and then we've got the actual fresh fish and that's been delivered today guys everything delivered in the morning fresh I've got no idea what the fish is called except we've got squid over there I know that uh, is that red mullet not sure looks like it doesn't it guys so this is all fresh from the sea this morning it really is fresh isn't it guys look at this it's amazing right let's go and have a look around shall we the rest of the restaurant everything's brand new as i say and we've got this amazing wine cellar look at this oh, well i did show you the wine list it's vast isn't it guys you can even get little bottles of wine look at the bottom they've got little bottles and it's all climate controlled yeah, if you're a wine connoisseur this looks like the place to come so plenty of seating for everyone beautiful new lights everything's brand new guys even the chairs are brand new oh this is a good idea they've got these little tables on the side so if you're having a messe or it's quite a big meal they can put some of the food here or some of the hot dishes perhaps just on the side good idea now i think in the summer guys these doors will open right out and the whole place we open so you can get a nice cool breeze coming in here now i'm not too sure about that but i presume so let's just have a look i think so guys so guys while we're waiting for our food to be prepared we've got some complimentary dips there we are and we've got beautiful olives look at those olives don't they look delish in fact i'm going to try one of those here we are i'm going to try this one here mm -mm. delish and garlic bread for those sun-dried tomatoes on the garlic bread and it is cypria bread isn't it is delish the tahini is amazing oh and it beautifully laid out look at this i've got my chef de yes i've got chicken and pork kebab of course don't forget the lemon and those lovely cypriot potato chips of course we've got a little bit of pizza bread to go with it and a massive side salad as well so this all comes with it guys a whole lot and you've got an enormous moussaka that is quite big that's a greedy chops portion. that is a greedy chops portion isn't it guys because of the whole 
a whole dish. If you put your hand in front of that, you can see how big that is. Quite deep as well. Very, very deep. And of course you've got a massive salad as well. And this is a great idea guys. We haven't got the olive oil on the salad, but we've got olive oil and dressings just here. So I'm gonna have olive oil on mine. Are you having olive oil on yours? Yeah, we are in Cyprus after all guys. So we're gonna have the olive oil on our salad, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Right, let's tuck in. Let's get our lemon anyway. Squeeze that on top of everything. There we go. And of course it is lemon season. And you can see how juicy these lemons are. Look at that. There we are. And tomorrow evening, guys, I am having Afco Lemony, which is a traditional Cypra soup. And uh, that's made with lemons. So I'll be going across the road. I'll be picking up some lemons from our local lemon tree. Well, that was delish, wasn't it? Super delish, guys. Oh, look what's coming past. There's the 7-Eleven. And that's got come from A and Napa. Oh, just what you need in a restaurant, a wet one for your hands. So we've got a complimentary drink. Look at that, isn't that lovely? Lemon chilla. I've never tasted it before. So this is the first time. It's not a slow beer. It's not a soft drink. It's lemony chilla. Oh, it's actually quite nice. Delish. Cheers. Mm. Right, back down the slope. Well, weren't that delish? Very delish, guys. Beautiful new restaurant. I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. And look at the wonderful Caparis area. Doesn't it look posh in the evening, guys? Well, I hope you enjoyed that meal. I certainly did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.